I think the next uh, subject of uh, discussion will be on, uh, on drugs and addiction because uh, we imagine that uh, this is uh, something that uh, threatens uh, a human society right now. Uh, and maybe we imagine that uh, drugs are now a phenomenon that are only found in, uh, in our society, that we are the only society that are confronting this problem. But in fact, drugs have been there from as early as the creation of man. And uh, we know, for example, in the early years of Islam, people actually used to pray when they, they were already drunk. <laughs> and the verse uh, had to be revealed, you know, to tell them that uh, please don't mix the two, uh, prayers and, uh, and alcohol. Uh, this should tell us that uh, this is not something that just came the, uh, the other day. Uh, the drugs have been there for as long as uh, man has been uh, there. And um, uh, drugs are considered as a, a generic term, you know, for uh, those chemicals that alter physical states or mental uh, states. And I think we can, we can see uh, this. And uh, sometimes we say, oh, don't, don't take that man seriously, you know, uh, because he uses marijuana. <laughs> so this is not, uh, you know, something that uh, just came uh, recently or th that th that has been brought to us by foreigners. But every society has uh, has had one form of uh, uh, of drug or another. And as we said, uh, drugs were interpreted, you know, in a much uh, a broader uh, sense, something that would uh, alter, you know, uh, physical uh, or mental states. And that is why Muslims found it a bit difficult to come to terms with, uh, with coffee when, when it was introduced to uh, Muslim societies. There's a very interesting book uh, on, uh, on this issue. Uh, it's called uh, Coffee and Coffee Ho and Coffee Houses: uh, History of Coffee, you know, in uh, Muslim societies um, during the Ottoman uh, period. Uh, coffee and coffee houses were banned, and anybody uh, seen uh, drinking coffee was actually uh, publicly whipped uh, because it was considered as something against uh, uh, Islam. Because people, of course, uh, who drink uh, coffee uh, rarely uh, drink coffee, you know, uh, in uh, in private. They enjoy their coffee in the company of uh, uh, of others. So uh, that was also seen as introducing culture of sloth or laziness, you know, just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> so, so, so it was not very surprising, you know, that the, the ulama uh, and the rulers came uh, very hard on, uh, on this because, of course, that will uh, affect uh, the, the economy also. If people sit around and do nothing, then uh, uh, they'll not be productive, or so it was thought. And uh, that will deny the state uh, uh, income. <laughs> so uh, uh, that is why, you know, uh, the, these uh, drugs, or what came to be dubbed as, uh, as drugged, came to, to have a bad uh, name. But uh, if you look at, uh, for example, uh, the, uh, in Latin America, cocaine leaves were chewed from very early on uh, by, 
by farmers and, uh, and workers uh, because that was uh, something that uh, gave them uh, some energy to continue doing the, the work. So uh, cocaine leaves are, were considered uh, okay, but the stage beyond that, you know, cocaine itself was clearly thought to be, to be uh, destructive. And um, so it's, it's important to, to remember that uh, uh, drugs are not uh, a new phenomenon. They have always been there as long as we, we have been uh, there. Um, and then, of course, uh, we now have uh, the concept of uh, drug abuse. The, the medicines, for example, uh, that are prescribed by, by doctors, you know, can also be, be abused. Once you abuse uh, prescriptive uh, medicines, uh, then you become addicted to uh, to those or other varieties you know of uh, uh, of drugs like uh, alcohol is also considered as a as a drug smoking is also a form of uh, addiction and uh, tobacco uh, is is a drug uh, in its own uh, uh, rise in fact uh, tobacco uh, came all the way from uh, from Latin America to uh, places like uh, Britain, and then it spread to the to the colonies and uh, and other areas. And of course, now we know the dire consequences of uh, of smoking, and uh, it's one of those addictions that uh, you have to try very hard to be addicted to. You don't just uh, become addicted to to tobacco by smoking just you know a few uh, cigarettes. Uh, it takes quite a while, and you, mu you must really make uh, a lot of uh, effort. Uh, and I understand it's sort of a very pleasant <laughs> experience, you know, when you're, when you're starting out, unless you are somebody who is dogged, uh, somebody who would persist in using these. And then of course uh, uh, people do this uh, for sometimes uh, silly reason, reasons because this is considered as, uh, uh, as fashionable, uh, as progressive as it did, you know, some time back. People who smoked were considered as, uh, you know, uh, progressive until uh, uh, we came to know the, the implications uh, their impact uh, on the lungs, their impact, in fact, uh, on, on the entire uh, body. Uh, um, so addiction is not uh, you know, something that is uh, recent. It has always been, uh, been there. Um, and uh, when we are um, uh, educating our, our societies, uh, one of the things we have to point out uh, is the hazards of, of using anything that we, uh, we call uh, a drug, because food can also be a form of drug. Uh, the people who are really addicted to, to eating, and then they end up uh, suffering, for example, uh, bulimia, <laughs> or the, 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 the opposite of, uh, of that where and mostly, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, who suffer from these are, are women. They become so thin uh, that, uh, you know, that affects their, their health because they can't uh, balance the, the food uh, intake with the fear of, of getting thin. So they lose out on nutrients that are so vital uh, for growth, uh, because growth is not something you know uh, that only affects uh, uh, children, but we are constantly uh, growing, if you like, you know, even at old age. You know, you must have uh, nutrients in order to to keep your mind uh, alive, 
you know, your body alive, your heart alive, your, your teeth uh, alive, and so on and so forth. So this is a much broader uh, understanding of what uh, uh, drugs and, uh, and addiction, uh, and addiction uh, are. So we mustn't only uh, look at this uh, in, uh, in narrow terms. Um, even some forms of idleness are a, f a form of, uh, uh, of addiction. And uh, there's the famous uh, story uh, called uh, Oblomov. <laughs> Oblomov is supposed to be the laziest man in literature ever described. <laughs> so uh, Oblomov could not even, you know, get out of, uh, uh, of his bed. And uh, it's the, 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 the novel is by uh, a gant of uh, you know, a Russian, uh, a, a Russian uh, 19th century novelist. So that is also a form of, uh, of addiction. You know, you are addicted to doing nothing. And of course, you just don't do, you do, just don't become uh, lazy. There must be reasons behind, uh, uh, behind that. Another very good example was uh, one of these Indian uh, uh, rulers, the, the Maharaja, <laughs> one of the Maharajas in, in India. You know, he was so lazy and he, he had nothing to, to do that he died of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> this might, uh, might sound uh, pretty funny now, but in fact, uh, they have serious implications. So those two are very good examples of what we should not aspire uh, to be. Because many of us think, you know, oh, I'll work uh, so hard, you know, for the next uh, uh, three years. I'll, I'll work day and night, accumulate so much money, you know, so that I don't do anything, you know, at the end. So if, if you have that kind of uh, mindset, then you are on the road towards uh, self-destruction. <laughs> um, so w when we are bringing up uh, the children, uh, we are in charge of, uh, of institutions, we have to be aware of these uh, historical uh, precedents. And when we are aware of this, then, then we create a, a balanced uh, society. And a balanced society can only come about by and through education. Uh, because once you are aware of certain things, then uh, you will try and uh, uh, act uh, appropriately to ensure that you don't get, you don't fall into those uh, uh, dangerous uh, pitfalls that look uh, quite innocent at the uh, at the beginning. Mm. Um, so we can actually go on and on, you know, uh, in defining what uh, you know what uh, uh, laziness is, or addiction um, is, or what addiction is uh, is not. Uh, but these are things that have uh, been with us from the day we were created, and they're going to be there until uh, the end of, uh, uh, of time. Mm. Um, we must be constantly aware, you know, and also raise uh, awareness, you know, to, to other people about this. So if we are heads of families, we must uh, make sure that uh, our families are protected from, from this. Um, if we are leaders in, in society, then we must also make sure that uh, our compatriots do not fall into, into these uh, pitfalls. And for humanity in general also, uh, we, we mustn't assume that, oh, I'm only, I'm only going to, to, uh, to explain these things to Muslims. <laughs> or I'm only going to uh, explain these things to Christians. Oh, I'm only going to explain these things to, to Jews, you know, to the exclusion of other sections of, uh, of society. Because uh, we are a coherent uh, uh, organ as a, 
a human society and what affects one part will end up affecting uh, other parts uh, too.